Hi, we're Jess and Greg. Welcome to our home. Uh, we live in a 2017 Ram ProMaster 2500. We've been in it for a little over two years full time now. If you want to follow more of our adventures, you can find us on YouTube and Instagram at drifter.journey. Come on in. So we'll start with the front of the van. One of the best features about the ProMaster is that it comes with this overhead storage area that's really deep. We can fit a lot back there, including our laundry bags and window curtains, towels, all kinds of fun stuff. We also have the Swivels RS swivel seat for the passenger side, which is great, adds extra seating for us. And then underneath we have the gas S-Bar heater. So we have the gas Ram ProMaster, and that means that our heater can be plumbed right into the gas tank, which is super nice. We use that on the shoulder seasons. Moving into the kitchen, we have the two burner and sink Dometic cooktop. So it's a combo, which is really nice. The sink just pops up. Um, works for us because it's really small and compact, doesn't take up a lot of space, and then you can just close this when you're done, which gives us all kind of counter space. Um, above, we have some upper cabinets with some storage, so this is kind of all of our kitchen stuff. We've got pots, a teapot, Tupperware, paper towels, all kinds of cooking stuff up there. This is our bathroom cabinet, so you see all toiletries, uh, hair clippers, baby wipes, hand sanitizer, everything we need for hygiene and whatnot. Um, right here we've got a CR Lawrence window, so it's operable. We've got the two open windows down below. We also have another CR Lawrence window in the slider door, which is really nice. It gives us a lot of good ventilation. Um, which, speaking of ventilation, we have two Max Air fans, one above the kitchen area and one in the back above the bed. So when we have both of those going, we can really recirculate the air and it cools it down pretty quick in here. Below the kitchen counter, we have the 65 liter truck fridge. So we can bring about three to five days worth of fresh food with us. We've got fruits, veggies, meat, all kinds of good stuff in there. It does have a little tiny freezer up top there. Doesn't fit much, but we do use it. And then lastly, under the kitchen counter, we have our pantry area. So open this up, we've got our utensils, uh, plates, cups, spoons, spices, all that fun stuff. And down below we've got this giant drawer that we can have all of our dry goods in. So rice, beans, tortillas, all that good stuff. All right, so over here is kind of like the dining room workspace area. First we've got this kind of homemade version of the lagoon table. So we swivel this out here um, to eat. I sit there, Greg sits here. And then you can also swivel it all the way out here, which makes for a nice little workspace if you wanna sit here and kind of look outside or someone can be standing outside and use this uh, kind of as a table as well. So lastly, these benches have a ton of storage underneath them. If you just open up the top there, We've got kind of your everything drawer, all kinds of fun little things, trinkets and whatnot. Um, this cubby also has a false bottom. So under here is our battery compartment and that's a uh, 200 amp hour AGM battery. And then lastly, we have under this cubby, all kinds of storage as well. We've got camera equipment, shovel, glassable buckets. Um, it's pretty much full to the brim as you can see. All right, so I'm gonna talk about the back of the van. Jess uh, had mentioned we have a 200 amp hour AGM battery. Uh, that's actually charged by our Renogy solar kit. So we have three 100 watt solar panels on the top. Um, we got a Renogy charge controller over here. And then over on the wall, the side here, we have our control center. Um, this is our battery isolator kit. It's a T-Max. Um, what it does, it allows uh, both batteries to be charged while we're driving. Um, and if for some reason our main battery dies, we can link to the extra battery and start the vehicle off of that. Uh, also over here we have um, a couple switches. So we have our awning control. So it's an electric awning. We have it out right now. Uh, it has LED lights on it. I don't know if you'll be able to see them real well, but they're bright, uh, pretty bright at night. They work well. Uh, also, the fan control it works for both of the Max Air fans. Um, our S bar heater controller, uh, thermostat, and then two switches for the bed lift. So our bed is actually on a electric lift, 
Um, it's controlled with two separate switches. The front one does the front two lifts, the back does the back two, and they're 250 pound lifts. Um, what that does, it allows us to lift the bed up to put bicycles under it. So um, when we're traveling, we got mountain bikes in here, keep the bed up a little higher. Um, if we're staying somewhere for an extended period of time, we'll take the bikes out and we can actually lower the bed down uh, to be able to sit up in bed. So I want to move that back down so I can get on the bed. Uh, last things we have over here, we just have our standard dimmer for our lights on the ceiling. And then this one is for some under bed LED lighting. Um, they actually came with the van. We just moved them to a different location so we could use them still. Uh, so that's it for the control center. Um, as for our bed, pretty self-explanatory, but we got three upper cabinets back here. And in these three are our clothes. So one and a half each. Uh, my clothes are in the front half. Those are the back half here. We got our little UE Boom speaker. And if we ever watch any TV, we can pull out our little tablet and fire it up and watch TV. So for watching TV, we'll sit this way. We'll pull our pillows over here. Gives us plenty of room, pretty comfortable. Sounds pretty good. Um, and then I'm six foot two. So we wanted the bed to go front to back so I can fully extend. So we sleep front to back. Um, also up top here in the rear, we have two little USB fans and reading lights in the corner. So these reading lights have two USB um, charging ports on them. So we can run the fan, charge our phones back here at night when we're sleeping and read if need be. And then we threw in a couple of six by nine speakers since the stereo on the van isn't excellent from the factory, uh, just so that we could hear a little bit more. So I'll swing around to the back, give you a quick uh, tour of the garage, and then we'll wrap things up. Uh, but back here we have our 2018 TW200. Uh, it's our street legal motorcycle that takes us places that the van can't go. Uh, it's been amazing. It's on a rack attach swing out arm. Um, and then the motorcycle itself is on the Moto Tote carrier. Uh, two separate products there. Uh, the swing out carrier though allows us to access the back of the van, which was super important for us because we are in and out of the garage quite often uh, while we're traveling because it has all of our gear. Um, so one thing we didn't mention, our gray water actually just drains out the bottom. Um, we have this bucket back here that we can set under there to catch that and dispose of it properly. Um, we carry four jugs with us. So we have seven gallon jugs, there's 28 gallons there, and then an eight gallon onboard uh, water tank. So we can have about 35 gallons of water at a time with us. Um, one of them is specific to shower, so it's not always uh, water that, can, that we can drink. Um, we live in it full time, so we got laundry detergent. And then the big thing that we built in the rear was these two 500 pound sliders. And we built this one specific to hold these black bins. Um, each bin is basically a separate sport. They're all labeled. So we know what's in each and how to use it and where to grab it. Um, also, we got the rest of our water. Uh, we got a bucket that is a basically our toilet if we need one. Um, no onboard shower, no onboard toilet. So we got that and then a portable water heater back here um, that we can use to set up and shower. So also in the rear, the other slide was built specifically for our mountain bikes. So those also slide out for easy access to be able to get them in and out of here. Um, so yeah, those two go there. And then obviously with any of the extra space in there, we just put whatever we need. And then off to the side in the rear, there are these two shelving units um, that we can basically store any of the other trinkets. So random tables, chairs, um, sporting equipment, 
and then some hammocks of course because everybody needs hammocks on the road and a couple of ukuleles and that is it for the rear other than these amazing tread pro traction mats uh, we got stuck once and only once because we decided we needed some of these just in case things get wild again um, these vans do have a tendency to sink in the sand so if you're going to get one we really recommend getting a pair of these so you can get yourself out the first time you get stuck rather than having some come rest someone come rescue you uh, but yeah that's pretty much it for the back uh, we'll swing back around and wrap it up okay so i just want to talk about a couple of the exterior items that we have on the van uh, we do have a rear light bar up top here uh, works great for backing at night um, doesn't light up the backup cam but if jess gets out and stands back there i can see her to be able to tell me where to go and just back up that way it works quite well um, as we're swimming around this side you can see these were the sierra lawrence windows she was talking about they open all the way up and let a lot of air in um, and then as we come around to the front here uh, same thing we got a nice big light bar across the front um, those are mounted to a custom 8020 aluminum rack that was made um, that also houses our uh, solar panels holds them in place and then the last thing on the outside was this electric awning that we spoke about. Um, it's a Carefree of Colorado, uh, mounts back to the van. That was one of the requirements we had. We wanted to make sure that we didn't have to anchor it to the ground just in case we we're in a place that the ground was rock hard or something like that and we wouldn't be able to do it. So we have it mounted up there. Uh, but yeah, that's really it for the exterior and we'll come back and wrap it. So that pretty much wraps up the tour. Um, if we forgot anything, mention it in the comments. If you have any questions, let us know. We'd be more than happy to respond and let you know what we missed. Uh, once again, we are drifter.journey on Instagram and YouTube. Thanks for watching. Just wait till three. <laughs> <laughs>